Hi friends, how are ya? Welcome back to my channel for another vlog. It's a Sunday, Monday, Memorial Day weekend vlog. So it is Sunday around noon and I need to make lunch. We have no groceries. <laughs> so I ordered us some every plate meals and then I also ordered some groceries that are on the way. Figured we can make lunch together and do a little grocery haul. I have spent this morning watching this YouTube channel. I found today and I went in this deep hole they're called the proper people i'll link them down below and they basically explore abandoned buildings it's definitely illegal it's definitely trespassing but it's so interesting so i watched an abandoned mall from the 2000s an abandoned high school and now an abandoned asylum from the 30s it's crazy it's really interesting but i'm gonna get dressed i am starving and we need to make some lunch so let's do that okay so real talk i've been pretty unmotivated to like figure out dinners lately so we've been eating a lot of frozen food and i was like okay it is time <laughs> to start ordering a meal kit again and then every plate reached out to me and they are actually sponsoring this video which was perfect timing typically what we'll do if we do this is we do these for dinner and then we'll just order groceries for breakfast lunch snacks kind of thing which is what's on the way right now i ordered some groceries but we literally have nothing and it's noon so we're doing this for lunch what i got this week is the super smash burgers smoky meatloafs and sweet chili chicken it tells you the allergens in it and then tells you which ingredients have which allergens so the Sweet chili chicken with scallion rice and zesty carrots is completely me safe. And for example, the burgers, all I have to do is substitute my own bun and Brooke can have it as is. And it is safe for me as well. So I think I tried five or six different meal kits before deciding which one I liked best. And every plate won because it was by, by far the cheapest. I think most of the other meal kits averaged about $10 a meal. And this one averages $4.99 a meal. So that alone is just awesome. Like half the price, which is amazing. I actually do have a really good code for you as well. So I have code MikkelJ2, which will get you a box for just $1.99 a meal. And then it will also get you 20% off your next two boxes. I will have that link down below. So thank you to every plate for sponsoring this video. I love, love, love how the ingredients come just not overly packaged is an awesome aspect. And uh, let's get cooking some sweet chili chicken for lunch. actually so excited about this meal and they take usually under 30 minutes i think this took me 20 something i think i went a little bit faster than the quota time which is always great taste test bite mm. Mm. i love anything with lime and scallions and the um sweet chili sauce isn't too sweet which is perfect pro tip I added a little bit of olive oil to the rice after you fluff it and it makes it really good. Oh, I have to try carrot. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. 
so much healthier than what we have been eating lately. So thank you every plate for um, helping me get out of a little bit of a rut there. And I don't have to rely on my own creativity, which is so nice. Speaking of, look what just got here our groceries. So I'm going to eat this real quick. And then I posted on Instagram today, like what kind of content do y'all want to see in vlogs? Because I've been loving doing vlogs and I want to do more. And I got an overwhelming amount of responses for grocery hauls, which I did not know people found that interesting, but I'm excited because it works out really well. So grocery haul in three, two, okay. Cue the grocery haul. Like I mentioned, we basically got breakfast, lunch, snack stuff for the week since we have dinners covered for the whole week. Also, pro tip, I order every plate for the four person serving, so I only have to cook every other day because we'll eat it one night and then have the leftovers the second night and it makes it really easy. So I'll just pull everything out one by one. A lot of this stuff is pretty typical to what we get. We use Instacart and I just go through like the recently ordered and just add from there usually. So these are my favorite chips. These are Simple Mills almond flour, sun-dried tomato, and basil. They're so good and they're made out of almond sunflower seeds and flax seeds primarily. I got the almond butter cluster granola because I've been making smoothie bowls a lot lately and I normally just top it with this banana and honey. I love these whenever I want something sweet. These are the Lara Bar like chocolate chip cookie dough bars. I'll normally have half as like a dessert. <laughs> Recently discovered Oatly's yogurt. The consistency is a little runny, but I love the taste of it. So I got the strawberry ones. This is also really good with granola and fruit on top. Okay, this is one of my favorite things. This is the plant-based buffalo style dip. And I think it's mostly made out of cauliflower, carrots, red bell peppers, hot sauce, almonds almond butter, and then a lot of other herbs and stuff, but I like to dip snap peas into this and it has like a spicy, zesty buffalo kind of flavor to it. It's so good. I ordered something for kids. <laughs> I love these. These are the Lara Bar Bakes. This is the cinnamon swirl bar. It's like a Fig Newton style bar, but it tastes like a cinnamon roll. They're really good. <laughs> it's like a special treat breakfast. Of course, some just eggs. These are vegan eggs. If you're not familiar, it's made out of mung bean protein, but I use this as a scramble in the mornings or any recipe that calls for eggs, even baking. I just replace it with this and it, it works. It's wild. These are my go-to when running out the door and don't have time to make breakfast. Um, this and overnight oats now is my new thing, but I order those online, not from the store. But these are just very, very filling. The kind protein bars, the almond butter ones. Of course, diet cheese. Everybody hates on Daya, but it's my favorite vegan cheese. And I top my daily harvest flatbreads with these. Real quick, what I got. <laughs> this is our favorite uh, kombucha flavor lately. The watermelon kombucha. I think I got two. I got two, one for me and one for you. Oh, I also got you these for pop tarts, but they're like the healthy type. Berry strawberry pop tarts for Brooke. Brooke added these, the veggie straws. He likes those. This is my go-to salty snack, the hippies. The vegan white cheddar has been my favorite lately. It used to be the sriracha sunshine, but I've kind of changed. This is the best consistency sourdough bread that I can find that's vegan and egg-free. Cook's sourdough bread, I like the taste of it more because it's very like tart, but it's kind of dense and you have to toast it for a long time. So I typically stick with chars. Got some limes, got some bananas for smoothie bowls. Brooke got some chocolate muffins. Arugula is my go-to green. It's the only green that I'll like actually remember to eat all of it before it goes bad, but I love to make a side salad just with olive oil, lemon juice, salt, pepper, Parmesan. That's it, the best side salad on arugula. Cue the Parmesan for that side salad. <laughs> Cilantro is really good on top of my Just Egg scrambles. Adabacos for my gluten-free sourdough toast to make avocado toast. Here's my snap peas to dip in my buffalo sauce. Um, I'm trying to push Brooke's comfort zone for breakfast because he just eats a chocolate muffin every day. <laughs> Calling you out. <laughs> so I got him these meat lovers sausage and egg burritos made with pork, raised without antibiotics, cage-free eggs, and 15 grams of protein. So hopefully those are good because I got two. I also got you beef jerky. He's excited. This is his favorite brand, I think. Archer Provisions Grass-Fed Beef Jerky. And last thing, Smith family favorite. These gluten-free buffalo bites from Sprouts are the best gluten-free chicken nuggets I've had in my life. Even Brooke loves them and will buy them on his own even though he's not gluten-free, so that speaks volumes. And we go through like a bag of these a week as a late night snack or an easy lunch. So that is our grocery haul. Wow, it looks very impressive when it's all laid out on the counter. <laughs>
And I have completely organized our snack pantry. It's a little full in the back so it doesn't turn well. But we got all of our goodies and all the bags in the back. And then a few other snacks up here. And then Brooke loves to organize the beverages. <laughs> and we have some of our leftovers that we just made and everything else is in its spot. It feels nice to have a fully stocked fridge. Quick little lazy Sunday outfit of the day. It's summer, so I, I haven't been able to wear this much, but since I'm staying inside basically all day, this is that Everlane crew neck that I bought. And it has like the cute little embroidered E on the arm. And then this is the necklace I just got from the M Jewelers. And of course my Lululemon Align leggings. So I'm just very, very comfy cozy today. So Dodgers have a 1-10 start time today, which means the game's coming on right now. It's actually perfect timing because you know when you eat like a nice, big, filling lunch and you're like, now I just want to snuggle and lay down. <laughs> That's how I'm feeling. So the plan is I'm gonna hang out, watch the game with Brooke. Tomorrow's Memorial Day. We're still trying to exactly figure out our plans. We definitely wanna do something fun. Plan A that we're hoping for is to see Jamie and Kaylee and the boys might golf and Kaylee and I might just go explore. Plan B is in the works, but I wanna do something fun. So I'm looking forward to the rest of this weekend and the rest of this vlog. But in the meantime, I'm gonna go chill out for a minute. <laughs> Well, it was a very short game and the Dodgers lost, which is a bummer, but I'm feeling like a little more quiet time and I've been really trying to allow myself to take quiet time lately, which has been awesome, whether it's reading or watching YouTube. It's kind of the only two things I do. And I think I'm gonna watch another one of those. I keep forgetting their names. It's like the people person, but that's not it. Proper people videos of them exploring places. I think I like it because it's relaxing, but it's suspenseful, and it definitely makes me feel Nancy Drew vibes because they're scoping around places they shouldn't be. Am I gonna get in trouble for endorsing a channel that's technically breaking laws? <laughs> so we've done our resting. My plan now is to take Max on a little stroll around the neighborhood. I'm looking sick in my, my slides that match my <laughs> crew neck perfectly. And then I think we actually might take an evening trip to Home Depot which we've never done before. They're open till nine. And there's a few things we wanna get for the yard. I think I mentioned to y'all, oh, look, he really wants to go on a walk. He just went potty, but I think he knows that we're about to go because I put on my shoes. But we wanna get some bricks and such to try to tidy up the yard and make it look like there's a reason our grass stops halfway through the backyard and basically make like a clear division, like a path that says, here's the grass we planted, Here's just where nature gets to do its thing past this point. So we're gonna go probably get those supplies tonight. Maybe do that tomorrow as our plan B if we don't get to see Jeremy and Kaylee's, but you wanna go on a walk? Gugga buddy? Gugga buddy? Gugga buddy? Okay. It's as simple as it seems, the twinkle in your eyes, the way that time slows down when you kiss me as we fall asleep. In a bed of butterflies Just close your eyes and then you'll see it you don't We're dreaming about putting one of these cheap little white picket fences in front of our house But even this like cheap plasticky stuff Is $50 a panel and another Is that how much that is? Oh, it's the full kit, but it would be like $1,000 for even like a fake fence <laughs> So there's so many different brick options that we're trying to choose between like if we want to do like thick ones like a path or just regular bricks just to divide them or two rows of bricks with gravel in between but then it would be a path that goes to nowhere they have 12 inch ones 16 inch ones the 24 inch ones weigh 91 pounds we decided against those <laughs> we're just kind of do whatever is cheapest i think we are the proud new owners of 900 pounds of pavers. <laughs> we were doing the math and I was like, how heavy do you think this is? Brooke was like, how heavy is each one? And I was like, 18 pounds? He was like, well, we got 50. I don't know, are we doing this tonight or tomorrow? I'm not doing it tonight. No. Tomorrow. <laughs> Okay, 
Okay, I might have to finish this tomorrow because it's getting dark and I'm tired. Brooke just unloaded everything and pulled the car out and while he was unloading I was making it into a straight line. Not so straight, I need to straighten it. But our grass isn't in quite a straight line through the yard so we're gonna seed here. And then obviously this side's gonna be the ugly side. So now we know exactly where to seed to to make it all that color, which will be good. Good morning. It is Monday, Memorial Day, and our plans were kind of TBD. I guess Jeremy and Kaylee are busy. We accidentally almost completely completed our garden project yesterday, and so we were like, let's try to find a new place for brunch. We found a place called Great Maple, and we have been there once before for dinner, and it wasn't great. It's a really cute location, but the food wasn't super great and there wasn't a lot of Mikel options, but that was like their opening weekend, I think, and we've never been for brunch. I don't know if there's really many Mikel options for brunch either, but I'm just excited to go somewhere that we don't often go. So I'm getting ready and those are our plans and I signed up for a 4.30 Pilates class tonight and then the game's on at six something. So I think it's gonna be a very good, chill day. Laundry needs to get done. I'm filming a house tour tomorrow, so Need to clean the house, need to import this footage. It's kind of my day in a nutshell, but I'm looking forward to it. Brunch was so good, except the poor server was like, we were not expecting it to be this busy today. And he was like, we are so backed up. He said, you may put in your appetizers and they'll maybe be here by tomorrow. And I was like, don't worry. I have worked in restaurants for so many years. I know how it goes, holidays, not your fault at all. And it did take like an hour and a half after putting in our order for food to come out. And I felt so bad for him because I know how stressful that is as a server and it's not your fault, but guests don't realize that sometimes. Anywho, I am in our hammock. I'm sitting at the very, very end of it so that I can be set up a little bit. And I brought a setup over here, brought a chair as a side table, got my LaCroix, my book, my phone, my camera. I'm gonna hang out here and read. I probably only have 10, 15 more minutes of my book till it's done. And then I gotta start the next one. But having this hammock has been so nice. Our new rocks are beneath me though. So now if I fall, it's a little more dangerous. Risk I'm willing to take. Some happy mail came in. I'm about to start working on a campaign with Lululemon and the yoga mat came in. It is the heaviest yoga mat I've ever felt. It's like very sturdy and thick. So that's exciting, but I am about to get dressed to go to Pilates and so before I do that I just wanted to end the vlog here and say I love you so much. Thank you for spending a holiday weekend with me, at least half of it. The other half I vlogged in a different vlog, so basically the whole thing. <laughs> and I wanted to say thank you one last time to EveryPlate for sponsoring this video. Don't forget that I will have my link in my discount code down below because who doesn't want a handful of meals for $1.99 a piece? Like not even a side of french fries can beat that price. <laughs> so highly recommend checking them out, but I love you so much. I hope you have the best rest of your day and I will see you in a video very soon. Bye. So give me a sign. Give me a sign. Oh, give me a sign. Baby, give me a sign. Just give me one more talking to you. Here we go again. Staying up all night to see if you've been texting me.